Ready to get after him today? Oh yeah. Uh, just a little update. Yesterday sucked big time. Um, you might see in the video, I only caught, I landed two smallmouth, one sheephead and one walleye, or one pike. Um, Mark plenty of fish, but I just couldn't get him to go. I don't know. Not really sure if it's just the high pressure or if they're transi transitioning or what the deal is. Um, but we're going to go up north and launch in Egg Harbor this morning and try up there. Catching keepers now at least. Another stocky one close to a three pounder, but definitely not the quality I'm looking for for the tournament. Um, but I think they're sit sitting on the steepest drops with boulders and there's two little spots here that I found that were a little bit sharper than the rest of the bank and they had really good boulders on it. So probably gonna just keep running that pattern for now and Granted, they're small fish, but still, you'd think in that clear water, they'd be a little more skittish. It's not the right quality. Decent one. Drop shot. Another decent one, but still not the quality I'm looking for. Drop shot. But we're moving in the right direction. Guys, you won't believe this. Oh, come on, buddy. Come here. Ah. Ah. Two and a half pounder or so. And that was my first cast with a wacky worm. <laughs> so. We'll see if that's something too. There's just kind of a flat here with some weeds on it. And... Weightless wacky worm. Ooh, came off. That was a four pounder. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Derby day. Um, we are launching at seven, so it's roughly five twenty. Yep. We're gonna stop, get some gas, um, get some Mackey D's, and put the boats in the water. So we'll see. Uh, practice was kind of subpar, um, and uh, I'm not too sure exactly where I'm gonna start yet. So. We'll figure that out soon here, and uh, I just I plan on just kind of running and gunning, but slowing down in the areas where I found fish and just seeing if I can't get them to bite. Uh, that's going to be the biggest issue today is just 
getting bites. Hey, what's got you? Bump one. Let's set them off. Bump two. From Watertown, Wisconsin, Nick Banner. Three pounder. Yes, there we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Let's go. Saw so him sitting right in that little weed bed and I pitched my drop shot in there. Four and a half pounder. Number four, pick the A-rig up, first cast, straight through them. I can see them on my pan optics. There's like a little weed clump and uh, there's multiple fish in it. I don't know if it's a keep. That one needs to go. <laughs> but I think it's number five. It's uh, obviously dead calm. <laughs> I think that's, yeah, 14 and a quarter. That's gonna make it really tough, so.
Oh. Seven Dave yeah. Enner looks like he went to work today. Five fish limit needs 2486. 2342. This guy went on boat two, also from Watertown. Mitch Van Erten looks like they were on the same school of fish. Five fish limit here for Mitch. 28-8, gonna put Mitch in third right now. Getting tight up near the top. Five one four for Mitch. Mitch had a heck of a season so far, starting the championship out just as well. Talk to us about it. Yeah, I had a good day. Uh, practice was tough. Uh, kind of figured a few things out, but I couldn't get him to bite. And then today, got him to bite. And yeah, I'm hoping I can do it tomorrow and, and see what happens. But it was a great day. Great. And around out your field here from Watertown, Wisconsin, boat two, Mitch Vanner. No way. 
show two. It's three bites on the tube now. I only landed one of them, but choking it. A little guy. Finally hooked up on the tube. Switched over to a goldy color. That's a four and a half pounder. Let's go. Not really. <laughs> Look at the tail on that thing. Ugly. Not really uh, gonna help me much, if anything. yesterday got five here today he's in contention to win this thing 21 28 mitch vanner 42 16 for the weekend gonna put him second right now he's gonna hold a couple up Mitch sitting second, solid weekend. You've been uh, on a roll this year, needless to say. Talk to us about your day. 
Yeah, it was a good day. Uh, I started really good. Um, slowed down. Uh, I got a two good day. I was catching my drop shot for the rest of the week and caught three, those three really good ones. And then the bite just died like that. And uh, I weighed a th like a three pounder. And so if I would have upgraded that one, I probably would have had close to 23, 24 pounds. But I'm um, really happy with how it turned out this week. So can't cut it off. It's been a fun weekend. You're sitting second right now. It looks like we got our top three coming up. So it looks like you're going to get paid. So congratulations. Thoughts on the 2023 schedule while we got you up here? Yeah, I, I really like it. I think uh, going back to green and then going to Monaco again, it's, it's going to be an awesome, awesome schedule. So definitely going to do it if I can. And yeah, looking forward to it. We're looking forward to everything you see this trailer, all the equipment is not possible at all to sponsor. Hey guys, just want to do a little tournament recap. Ended up finishing in fifth place with 42 pounds, 42.16 pounds. Um, yeah, the weights were really good. I thought coming in that it would take 41 to 42 pounds to win, and uh, it ended up taking 48 pounds to win, which was very impressive. So, um, yeah, just a quick recap coming in to practice. I kind of thought uh, that moving baits, um, Alabama rigs, swim baits, and stuff like that were going to be the deal, but. Uh, the water just wasn't quite cold enough yet so those fish were still like deep kind of summer transition pe uh, period and um, the bait was still deep and the, there was lack a lack of wind so i think it really kept the fish deep um, still so um, kind of what i used as you guys saw i used caught a few fish on the alabama rig not many but i ended up catching uh, a good four pounder in practice on it and then i did catch one fish in the tournament on it that uh, did contribute to my bag, I believe. It was about a three and a half pounder. Um, other than that, I really, I threw it a lot the first day or two of practice, and then by tournament time, I really didn't throw it much. Um, so I kind of wash that out. Uh, my primary bait, the first day of the tournament, and I did catch that five, it was a five, one, six pounder on it, and uh, I think I caught seven of my, six or seven of my 10 fish that I weighed on it was a drop shot. Um, I. I use this bait all the time, obviously. This is one of my go-tos, and my leader, as you can see, was pretty long. I had about a 16-inch 16, 16 leader, and uh, that Wu Tungsten 3 8 ounce weight. Uh, I typically only use 3 8 ounce. I don't know, I don't know why, I just like to feel, <clears throat> feel the 3 8 ounce the best. Um, and I paired that up with a little tiny size one Gamagatsu hook with a flatworm on it. And that's, that's a smelt color flatworm. Really worked good for my dad and I this week. Again, I think, uh, you know, that baitfish imitator helped that kind of a goby-ish color too. Um, I tried green pumpkin a little bit. I caught some fish on it, but uh, most of my fish came on that smelt color. So it's definitely my one of my primary baits. Um, day two, I ended up switching over um, early, uh, about half hour in to a tube. And actually, I have a 3 8 ounce head in this, so it's it's real heavy. And that allowed me to make long cast and, and keep bottom contact. Uh, where we were fishing, it was about 30 foot of water, and there was scattered gravel, but mostly sand. And I could see on my pan optics that those fish were really tight to the bottom on the second day. Um, a lot of them I couldn't even make out, you know, with, uh, with it being zoomed out 40 feet. I couldn't really make them out so I started dragging that really slow and um, I did land my biggest fish on day two on that it was uh, close to a five pounder and I lost the first day I don't know if it was in the video I did lose close to a five pounder um, that came up and jumped and I lost another one the second day that was another four plus pounder that came up and jumped and I just lost them so um, with those two fish I might have put myself in you know better contention for second at least and then the final bait I did throw a few times was the weightless wacky uh, one area I found there was just a weed bed you guys see it you guys probably saw this the second day of practice uh, just a weed bed in a bay that had no weeds just on a huge sand flat and there was 15 fish holding in it the first day I caught three out of it I caught my five pounder on it and then the second day went back there and they were there but they just wouldn't bite so that uh, pretty much that spot and that was the shallowest I caught them was 12 feet I caught one or two and then the other fish that we caught were in about 30 feet of water like I said so uh, definitely paid to stay open-minded and um, yeah just not count that deep bite out it was nice because I kind of located them and then my dad dialed them in and uh, we, we shared spots so um, yeah 
uh, thanks for watching hopefully you guys took a little bit out of this video it was definitely a good way to end the wisco season and the schedule for 2023 is currently out so check that out and we'll see you on the water easy